I think AI has been around now for around about 30 years, uh, so it's nothing new. However, I think now the technology is, is there to be able to realise the benefits of AI. And uh, I think the, you know, sort of the, 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 the confluence of big data, IoT, uh, AI is, is, is going to be a big trend in, uh, as this part of this fourth industrial revolution. And yeah, you know, I, I think as well, it's about making plants, companies, you know, sort of processes much more effective than uh, they've been in the past. A lot of work has been done over the past few years around Six Sigma and things like that to improve efficiency. But I think the holistic, effective improvement of a plant is something which AI can help with enormously. Reimagining processes, for example. Yeah, well, this is an interesting one and one we see many times in talking to customers. This is about, it, you know, building an AI use case is really a team game. It's about bringing all facets of the business together to be able to reimagine a process, understand what they're trying to do, what the outcomes they're trying to achieve, and what the levers to change those outcomes actually are. So you need you know, business and IT capability in a room to be able to reimagine those, those, uh, those things. And if they can do that, then that becomes you know, sort of a very strong way in which you can start to think about the business use case to develop that uh, AI strategy. Yeah, well, this is uh, interesting. I, I've been talking about predictive uh, maintenance over many years now. And, and predictive maintenance is basically forecasting when you think a machine is going to need maintenance, whether ball bearings are running too hot or, or whatever it may be. There's additional vibration in the machine. And therefore, that's an analytical process. Where I, AI comes in is very much in the prescriptive maintenance idea because it's not only that the machine will need to be fixed by two weeks next Wednesday, but actually you need this person with these skills and those uh, tools to be able to fix it and maintain it. So it, it, if you like, it's about optimizing what is the best outcome you can possibly achieve in your maintenance uh, uh, rotor. And that, that of course saves costs and makes it much more effective. You know, it's interesting in manufacturing because manufacturers have developed robotics uh, very well over the, uh, over the last few years and are now very well embedded uh, in many plants. You know, but it's now about uh, using the data from the sensors on those robotics and about optimizing how those uh, robots can be used um, so you can reduce things like downtime in the factory, which is very, very expensive. So uh, I, I think it's going to be really important for manufacturing to make them more effective, to make them more efficient, to deliver a better production process uh, than, has been, uh, than has been achieved in the, in, in the past through pure efficiency. So um, yeah, I, I think it's going to make people think about data much more and I think it's going to make them think about the use of that data and how they can improve the whole production process.